So we're getting ready for uh, kickoff. No need for a stopwatch today. There's a brilliant one on the scoreboard over to our right. So to take you through this first half, Jamie, nice to see you back. Yeah, it's been a while as we get underway here. File just kicking us off, moving it straight out to the uh, to their left hand side, straight out for a throw. Hereford still in possession on the left. Lloyd just drifts inside to Patton. He gets past one, then rolls it sideways to Jared Hodgkiss. Thinks about a shot, goes for a shot. Decent effort, straight at the keeper, Chris Neal, though, and he parries it down and then catches it as it bounces back up. Jared Hodgkiss with a Hereford throw midway inside the fold half on the right hand side, inside to right. Two players on him. He falls over, but the referee says no free kick. And File now can move forward and they break forward straight down the centre. Christian Pierce beat him for pace and it could be a goal here. It is a goal for the home side. Douglas Taylor breaking through a quick move forward from File after a Hereford attack breaks down and Christian Pierce just beat him for pace at the back. He was caught one on one. In the end, Taylor just a couple of touches into the 18 yard box and fires the ball past Brandon Hall. Takes a few steps back, left footed into the 18 yard box. Decent delivery towards Ben Pollock at the back post. It falls inside the six yard box, but there's no hair of a player around. I'm not quite sure how he got that so wrong. Tollett on the right hand side. At, at the minute, File just starting to stamp their authority to kind of cement their 1 0 lead. And they break into the 18 yard box again. It's a, a good block by Ben Poller as Captain Phyllis Cook tries to put a cross into the box towards the near post. Brandon Hall gets there, backs it down and then uh, Kyle Patton on the edge of the 18-yard box. He plays a decent ball to the back edge of the 18-yard box. Tom Owen Evans back to Revan. 20 yards out. He goes for goal. I think he might take a deflection, does it? No. Tom Owen Evans appealed for it, yeah. but the referee uh, gives the goal kick. Plays the ball upfield towards Andre Wright. He uh, takes a tumble, but it's uh, no free kick. Hereford uh, now played up to Tom Owen Evans, who goes for Ooh. a goal. It's a goal. Yes, he's I mean, He hit it first time. <laughs> the reaction of Josh Gowling was, oh my, how did that happen? Well, he hit it first time. I'm not too sure it ended up where he thought it was going to. He certainly had a shot, but I think he miscued it. It's looped over the top of the file goalkeeper's head, Chris Neal, and ended up in the back of the net. And well, there's no one more shot than Josh Gowling. Can I say something? Go for it. We'll take it. We'll <laughs> certainly take it. We'll certainly take it. I mean, Keenan Patton, who uh, manages to scoop the ball clear, and he's sliding in again to try and halt a filed attack. Inside to Phyllis Kirk, the captain. Out to uh, Horton. Tries to get past. Lloyd sends away a shot. It takes a bounce and uh, goes in the end a good couple of yards wide. Plays the ball back to Chris Neal in goal for file. Clips the ball forward. Haynes, oh, he flicks it backwards and he's uh, he's set filed up here. But thankfully, Nick Horton, the uh, leading goal scorer, he rounded Brandon Hall but could only send his shot a couple of yards wide. Actually, Brandon Hall did absolutely superbly well then. And it's Houghton who... Uh, breaks towards the 18 yard box, a couple of ricocheted, it's uh, out to the right hand side, a shot comes in, it's low, it's hard, but it's wide of uh, Brandon Hall's upright and behind for a goal kick. The, uh, the referee didn't agree, so it's a corner to the home side, they take it short to the edge of the area, Condon with a powerful left footed effort, but he went well high and wide in the end, that was a, a training ground routine from that corner. To the balls, Revan plays it into the box, it's now cleared to Hodgkiss, out to Lloyd, out to Tomo and Evans again on the left-hand side. He drifts inside now, and he goes for goal from a long way out, and it's high, well high over the bar and it's over the stand. And actually, out it's Aldi. <laughs> or Hereford in terms of subs. Josh Gowling constantly on the edge of his technical area, shouting out orders. Uh, Burry and uh, Jan Kukowski having a, a chat inside the technical area as file break forward, edge of the 18 yard box they go for goal and Brandon Hall has to be at full stretch to tip that ball behind for a corner a decent save there from Brandon had to be uh, on his guard there to react quickly as Hereford have an attacking throw which James Vincent will take into Tomo and Evans 
back to McLean 20 yards out goes past his man breaks into the 18 yard box now he needs some help from Tomo and Evans now oh and it's a corner uh, but that was extremely close there Pinchard with the corner it's headed clear to Revan who puts the ball back to Pierce to Vincent to McLean who's offside he's offside he's got the ball in the back of the net but the assistant referee's flag was up immediately and it's a uh, it is a, a disallowed goal. Phyllis Kirk, the captain, probs it out to Morrison on the right-hand side. This game really opened up. Tomo and Evans just feeling an, an injury as filed. Look to attack again. Jared Hodgkiss having to race back and make sure that he does something here. He can't. Slew 18 yard, inside the 18-yard box, sends it to the back post. And it's a winner for the home side. Four or five minutes into six added on. Heartbreak for the Bulls. Jared Hodgkiss couldn't get to the ball as it uh, was played forward on the filed left. And in the end, the ball from Slew to the, to the edge of the six-yard box was just stabbed home.